But what I do, Amaya, today is the character coming in back from 1 0 to 3 0. Hello, people, welcome to the United Way. I hope you're doing very well. Manchester United has just beaten RC Lance at three goals to one. Guys, smash a like on the video if you're happy with the results. But you know, as I told you, it's pre season for me personally. I mean, I don't care about the results. We are going to talk about what has improved and what we have to improve as Manchester United but yeah before we start guys please make sure you click the like on the video subscribe to the channel because at the end of the month when the season starts we'll be doing this live and you guys will be interacting with it and I would love to hear your opinion I know some of you clicked on the, on the video you're here to see the man of the match and my man of the match didn't score today but he was the fire starter and that's Andre Zangja Ganacho. but yeah talking about the game for those of you who didn't watch it and by the way those of you who didn't watch the game you have a chance to watch the la the next game tomorrow against Bilbao right at Dublin just log into MUTV and do some registration in your emails and you watch it and f f I mean 4k 6k very good resolution for free but the Premier League you have to do some kind of subscription in a paid uh, section <laughs> i don't know but you saw that out well, anyway guys today that game manchester united i think there are some very good things in this game today and also things we have to improve we are not fully fit yes there are some uh, moments in this game i just want to say something about what most of you might be i think the internet in the first half you guys were discussing this a lot about our goalkeeper andre sonana if you are watchers on each of this channel i've said it a lot i'm a cameroonian i know the way we play I understand the way we design things. It's not like I know what he's going to do, Onana. But I said this clear. I said that he will be found out in the Premier League. Onana, those goals that he scored, the, the fact that Onana is climbing, is going ahead of the game, I mean, coming out of his box a lot, it is very good for Manchester United. Believe me, those, ma those defenders are so happy for that because it, it, it does improve our game. We play a high line, one. Number two, it gives confidence to the defenders, two, two, uh, three. And the attackers understand where to position themselves. That, uh, and we, we can catch our opponent on any time in counter-attack when you have such a goalkeeper. You can see what Liverpool does. You can see what um, Edson does with, with Man City. So for those of you who said, or who were like grumbling in the halftime, during the halftime, during the break, you know, halftime that Onana, he went out too much. And most of those journalists, those are those haters of Manchester United. I hate you talking about those, using the word haters, but they do exist. Manchester United wanted to say, oh, he here, yeah, he all he does, we want a goalkeeper with a leg. I just wanted tell you guys that he will concede those goals this is in three none more I mean he will, they call it love he will consider us go and draw now but anyway yes it's part of the game United we did show character we were down I mean we, we, uh, we were down in the first half but we did show character in the second half and uh, this is what is more important something I haven't said already is that I was so happy in the beginning of the game when we presented Rasmus Holland to the Manchester United ultra for public I mean I think it was a great feeling for Rasmus Holland someone who has the Manchester United for him is his team his dream team to play for and now his dream club and now he's there uh, it's such a great thing in front of 58,000 spectators I think he 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 on the, he started feeling what it, what it, it is to be a Manchester United player so smash a like for Holland smash a like for Ten Hag smash a like for the victory today even though as I will be honest with you I don't care about the victory but let me tell you what I care about I care about the way we play Manchester United today in the first half we had some issues we have two players who are not similar, but trying to play, trying to trying to find a connection between them two. That's Bruno Fernandes and Mason Mount. Rashford started the game as a nine. Rashford is not a nine. He cannot play a nine. We have said this a lot. Rashford is a winger. The fact that he's so quick, the fact that he's good with his feet, it makes him being a good winger. I don't see Rashford as a nine. He will score goals, but he is not. A, he cannot be that impacted. He won't create that impact. Yes, he did a good run. He scored a goal, but I think Rashford, honestly, it is uh, something that you guys know if you're a United fan. So. I wouldn't dwell on that a lot, but what I would dwell on is the midfield. I think if we play with the same lineup against City, if we are lucky, we'll just take three, three goals, if we are lucky. Why? Because I think there was a hole in the midfield, especially in the first half. I think Ten Hag saw it and, and he, he addressed that during the halftime. Because I just think that when Amrabat comes, in the setting games that he will have to play with Casemiro in the midfield. Why? Because then we will have to, if he plays with Casemiro in the midfield, then they will have to sacrifice either Ganacho or or Anthony. Talking about Ganacho Anthony, I will stick on Anthony because Anthony in the first half for me he was abysmal. Yes, he had uh, in the second half he came in. I think uh, he scored a goal. Yes, he did score a goal and also he created did some, some good creative acts. 
the, the easiest football is an easy game, simple game. The easiest thing to do in football is those simple passes. This is what I see Manchester United before we're not doing. This is what I saw them in the second half doing. I complained about that in the first half when I watched it. United need to circulate the ball perfectly. It is so easy to circulate. What City are doing, what Barcelona are doing, those are the easiest thing in football. The most difficult thing is to you to always want to create an action in any situation. And I was so impressed with Ganacho because he is he has a natural talent. He's someone who can keep the ball very well and also do his tricks, right? But he was there very, I mean, trying to be very uh, collective. Look at the goal at 15 minutes, which an empty pole goal, uh, just a tap in which uh, uh, the goalkeeper, uh, the, our, our new signer, Mason Mann, would have scored. These things happen in football. I'm not worried it's about that, but it happened in football. But that shows that Ganacho can be collective. And also what I like to Ganacho, let's address some players again. I've talked about Ganacho, is we know him. He has a stardom, a stardom in him. I think he's a guy who is going to make, go to places. Hopefully he will be healthy and he can achieve his uh, potential. Uh, in the defense, uh, central defense, okay, but the only issue I'm worried with is that whole midfield. Casemiro is so technical. The fact that Casemiro is so technical, he will always want to go ahead. We need someone who will sit with those defense. That's why I think bringing Amrabat in Manchester United will be, will be a game changer for the way we play. And uh, something we need to address also as a United fan, if you watch, is the issue within Bruno Fernandes and Mason Mount. Some are already talking how Mason Mount is a failure for buying Mason Mount because Mason Mount uh, and wants to play 10 and, uh, you know, he and Bruno doesn't work. Yes, I, I do agree that argument that at the moment they don't work. Mason Mount playing for midfield as a 10 for Manchester United. For you to be a 10 for a team that wants pro progressive progressive play and playing within the lines in a very quick manner, you have to be quick. firstly, you have to have a very good vision. That's what Bruno has. You have to have the energy, good vision, yeah, speed, and also a good reading of the game. I think Bruno has three of those four uh, attributes as a player than uh, than um, Mason Mount. And that's why I think Tenag had an issue. He will have to adopt or adapt or try to redesign the, con the, 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 the lineup. So Mason Mount will be playing a little bit on the wider part of the pitch. Because defensive-wise, defensive Mason Mount isn't good, Bruno is good, but Bruno is more a, a, a playmaker than Mason Mount, in my view. Tell me what you think below, because that's what I, I notice as a United fan. And guys, if you think that um, Mason Mount should play ahead of Bruno as 10, please tell me, because I might be, I mean, this is why we have this channel here, we'll be talking as a fan, because I have watched United, I've watched United, I, for you to be a good nine, a, a good sorry, a good playmaker or ten of Manchester United, you need to be very good, a very good passer. Someone, you don't keep the ball a lot. You read the game perfectly. And Bruno has that. I don't think Mr. Mount has because Mr. Mount is more a counter-attacking, energetic attacker. Yeah, you see. So that for me, that's only the one of the minuses that was only the midfield. For the goalkeeper, I don't see the goal he considered. It is not an issue. It's not his fault for the goal he considered. Dalo made a sloppy pass, defense pass, just a lazy pass because passes have to be like you just have to give passes. But Dalo, Dalo's pass was so weak, and they picked it and they scored. They took advantage that the goal was out. And don't tell me that he he went out too much because when you are on the ball, you're already on the touch line. Your goalkeeper has to already be on the line. That's how football is. If you don't know that, then go and study football. You don't understand. When your defense is already on the mid line, your goalkeeper cannot be sitting on the post. So you need to know this as footballers. That's why you have to subscribe so we can exchange opinion. You might learn something from me and I might learn from you. That's how it works in the world. But anyway, fantastic goal in general. I think the next game, which is tomorrow, guys, United are going to use some of these players we might see Harry Maguire tomorrow I don't know but you know I think United are going to use some of these players also give them at least 45 minutes each because in the next in a week's time we are playing our first match hosting Wolves so guys make sure you join us on all our match reaction we'll be doing watch alongs every day click that bell so you will be the first to know when we are here because we have to be discussing so I'm inviting all of you on the channel please we want to hit this summer 10,000 K because with 10,000 K we have the soft sponsorship which we have we, we, we are negotiating for you guys and uh, it's something that you will appreciate just let's just hit and see we're already on 3,000 so let's just go I think we can do it please keep sharing the videos in the United way and um, stay tuned if you have something to add drop your comments below we are going to reply but uh, I will end it by using the word that one of our subscribers yeah, uh, usually say 
is uh, we are going somewhere in Manchester United. Even though for me, I would say the result doesn't matter. But what I do, Amaya, today is the character coming in back from 1-0 to 3-0 from, from the team. That character, that mentality. And we saw that a lot in last season when United did wrong, didn't do well in the first half and in the second half they came in and won the game. So that's where I am.